How's it going Gears? I've got another video on this Road to Seriously 5.0 where I aim to cover each and every single map showing you my personal journey. This week we are covering the map Rail Line. Another map that uses the escape tiles which were introduced back in Operation 6 I think? Being one of the escape tile themed maps we have very narrow corridors, excellent for funneling enemies through. Like always I will be covering other map specifics such as tap locations then the mutators and build I had when taking on this one. There will be a full uninterrupted gameplay with commentary later on in the video if you wanted to skip ahead. Let's take a look at Rail Line's overhead map first which looks a little something like this, being the same version you would see in game. There are plenty of spaces to funnel enemies through on this map with a wider more open area near the centre of the map. When you first spawn into Rail Line, you will spawn just a few steps away from the Fabricator which is found just here. Convenient that you do not have to go far for this one. Just like the other escape tile themed maps, there aren't many energy taps spread around this one. Only four which can be found in these locations. Rail Line is one of the few maps containing the least energy taps. However, ammo shouldn't be much of an issue on this one since there are four ammo boxes spread around the map in these locations. Making use of these will definitely ease the burden on your engineer. Rail Line stands out as one of the better escape tile themed horde maps in my opinion, offering a little more variety over the others. For this one I have four areas around the map that you should consider when setting up your base, giving the pros and cons and difficulty rating for each. Since we don't really have a centre build we will start with the southern area where the fabricator spawns. Up in this elevated spot on rail line you will have clear sight lines over most of the map. Longer range classes will perform better up here with shorter ranged ones having to run out into more open areas. All the energy taps are easily defendable from this spot giving your team plenty of energy for a decent sized base and several perks. The lack of cover available and high ceiling do leave you open to explosives with sentinels being particularly painful to deal with. Make sure you revive often in this spot and push fortifications out in all directions to give your team more room. This is the spot most teams default to and it's not bad but good communication and depositing plenty of energy are crucial since setting up here can go sideways very quickly. It does sit roughly middle of the road for me at 3 out of 5 difficulty. Moving over to the northern side of rail line we have the lowest elevated spot on this map just here. This may seem like a strange place to set up, but you will have just two fronts to fight on instead. The two entrances are very narrow, offering much more cover with space between them if your team needs to fall back. You will struggle for energy here since only one tap is possibly defendable here, giving classes that save on energy a distinct advantage. No single class should struggle, regardless of its range. Bosses will be more of a problem if they do get close enough, since you won't have the most room to move them around your base. So making use of the open area in the centre of the map will be needed, unless you can burst them down quickly. A lack of energy and room are your main downfalls here, giving this a similar difficulty of 3 out of 5. Let's take a trip to the western side of rail line, this spot just here. Here you have a slight elevated spot near the back, one short and one long range lane which are both narrow not needing much energy to stop enemies. Only one energy tap is justifiable to defend making it a bit easier for you and your team. It's not a good idea for the whole team to group together here since you don't have much room to fall back to so pushing out further will benefit everyone and gives your team a great fighting chance to beat rail line in this 2 out of 5 area. My final recommendation takes place on the eastern side of rail line, got to love the lack of area names on these escape themed maps. Anyway, here you have a lot of the same benefits as the previous area, only two entrances which are narrow, with one energy tap being nearby. You do lack a height advantage near the back wall, but you do have much more space to move around and plenty of amazing cover is available throughout. This is similar in difficulty as well, being only two out of five. For my run through on rail line my team defaulted to the southern area around the fabricator spawn point as most teams do. We didn't have very punishing mutators either with the following. Only regen in cover. Forcing my team to stay in cover if we want any kind of health regeneration. 
We do lack cover in the spot we chose to set up, but specific classes are great at working around this mutator. More lethal. Enemies deal more damage while this mutator is active. This one will be switched on in most games, master or not. Must active reload. A slightly annoying one, forcing us to active reload or we jam our weapon and don't reload anything. Your reloads don't have to be perfect, which is a slight blessing. More health. Another mutator that will be active in most games of Horde, giving enemies roughly 75% more health. Bobblehead enemies. Purely a cosmetic mutator, forcing big head mode on enemies, behaving like a bobblehead. Sniper classes may be thrown off since enemy hitboxes don't grow to match the new model, so aim for the lower half of the head when this is active. Regeneration. Enemies can regenerate any health they lose. This does take a few seconds of not being damaged to kick in, but make sure you finish off any enemies you damage. Bosses are able to benefit from this as well, so leaving them until last can be a good idea while enemies have this. Survivor. Finally, our favourite mutator, which will force us to restart the entire run if we fail a single wave. Some people do not like this one, but preparing before you kick off any match will give you your best chance. Since the mutators weren't that punishing, I decided to play as a robotics expert, which doesn't really counter any of the mutators we had, but they didn't really penalise my choice either. Here are the skill cards I took with me into rail line. Bloody support. Whilst I have reinforced DR1 available, precision rifles will deal bleeding damage. I do find the DR1 a little underwhelming without the bloody DR1 skill card, so not using it to make use of the extra damage from sniping seems like a good payoff in my opinion. Global Overclock. All weapon lockers reload ammo faster. With this card, you don't even need to be the person who builds the weapon locker, so you can even use this if you just wanted to make the robotics expert into a more damaging role. Precision Repairs. Killing enemies with precision weapons will heal all fortifications on the map, except for energy taps. This is basically free energy, one of the best cards on this class since you don't even need to headshot enemies. Killing downed enemies with body shots will activate it. Combat Engineer. Severely speeds up repairs by 300% at higher ranks, so long as you are repairing for at least 3 seconds. I usually take this just for energy taps since they do take a while to repair and don't benefit from the free healing offered by precision repairs. Global Sentry Upgrade. All sentries, both shock and MG, will deal more damage with this card. I don't usually build many sentries, but the extra damage this card offers is great if you do build them more than I do. With everything in this intro section covered, I will now let the full gameplay for rail line run for you. There is some commentary alongside, I hope you enjoy. That's all I'm getting. Seriously. Fucking 6,000. Oh, 
For me, half upgraded. Time to fortify. Thank you very much. Sure, I'll take it. Shit, yeah. Dibs. Moving on our position. Leaving this here. Fire in the hole. Throwing flag. What's happening, gears? Today we are doing a horde frenzy on rail line. We are playing as the robotics expert. And today we have with us a combat medic, and we've got Jack, a tactician and a demo, so quite an overpowered uh, compilation of classes. The mutators and the build I am using will be at the start like they normally are, so you've probably already seen it. And you will have obviously seen that we've got a lot of annoying mutators on today, so you have to actually reload, otherwise you jam your gun. Uh, you don't heal unless in cover and I also have zero ammo let's pop that on there just for a second Ooh. we're not in the most ideal spot on this map I'm not particularly the biggest fan of this area I prefer sitting either down at one end so over there or at that end over there but we had taps spawn over here in decent enough spot so it was worth building around them as it always normally is let's keep them safe keep them Topped up. What the hell? Reload initiated. The horns here, people. Oh, I wonder if the combat medic has um, team repair on. That would make it even easier to keep all these fortifications maxed out. leave that one there for now. Let's grab some more barriers. You might notice the entirety of this game I may not use my ultimate whatsoever. That's just because of the... Ooh, there's a long shot over there. That's just because of the perk uh, skill card that I've got on, which makes it so that my ultimate does bleeding damage. Good work. 
So long as I don't you so long as my ultimate is ready. Right. I I'm just gonna pop that on there. Wait, no, I'm gonna pop that on there. I'm gonna quickly grab a second weapon locker because I think two would be more than enough for what we have. We need to get one of these long shots that were dropped. Mine now. Focus, there we go. Grab some of this energy. Gonna get some extra barriers. For some reason, I took the MG Sentry um, skill card, like the extra damage that you get. I might make use of it. I might not. Let's see what boss we get. Carrier's not too bad. Bobbleheads really does. There we go. It really does throw my aim off quite a bit. Right, what we can do now is quickly grab that. We won't do much damage to this thing, but. Is another a long shot that I can take. Down to four. The reason I'm taking the long shots over the M bar is one, I'm better with a long shot, and secondly, I don't have the perk the skill cards on that necessarily help with the M bar. There we go. We've got two full weapon lockers. And that's the first boss wave out of the way. Fine. 
It seems we're getting very little energy from this entire team. Sedition will not be tolerated. Let's leave that there just for now. Here we go, we can get start getting some proper repairing on the go now. Hopefully. Nice. Grab some extra barriers. Got it. If Just Jack playing. happened to have the optimizer skill card on, I would probably build him a forge, but I'm going to doubt that he does. Good to go. Very nice. This is your final warning. Let's go with a shock sentry. Nice. Just there. Landed. Couple extra barriers on this side. We've got company. Just because I want to try and protect that uh, fabricator a little bit. Not fabricator. Energy tap. getting a lot of locust snipers in this one so I'm never going to be short of ammo or snipers got it Tap upgraded. right let's take a little bit of critical damage just so we have it there Um Leaving this here. 
I'm going to look at getting a couple of electric barriers as well, placed kind of close, so that we don't have to worry about anything sneaking up on us like it just did. Oh, wow. Oh, that was good timing. I screwed that shot up, didn't I? Never mind. This is what I need. Raring to go. Each according to his needs. Energy tap upgraded. Get that up. Let's also grab a. Nice. Oh, before we do that. Upgrade that to that. Nice. Oh, we can't quite afford to get it on this one. This Swarmac on this map. This map is tiny. Green shake. I got the kill on that. I am surprised. I've got the energy. Energy tap upgraded. Hey, nice job. Time to build. Hi, are you one? Thank you very much. Right, let's grab some. Lay down your weapons. Ammo, real quick. 
and hopefully start getting stuff repaired. Have to get as many decent snipes in as I can. We're actually doing all right now on the repairs. I was going to build some more barriers, but I don't think we're going to get that chance. Let's get ready. Shit, yeah. Done. I'll take it. Perfect. Let's go with a decoy. My time's up. They're coming. Pop this just over here for anything that does happen to get a little bit too close. Bobbleheads really screws my sniping up. wasn't a headshot but it still gives me the repair. Target. That's the only reason I took it. <laughs> there we go. That's one of the reasons I do love the robotics expert. That free repair you get whenever you get a kill with a precision weapon is so nice. Look at that MVP. I've got the energy. Good. Some time to regroup. Done. I'll take it. We've got a decent amount of energy now. Um, let's get this repaired. And let's do the same on the other side as well. Mine now. Watch and learn. Got it. Pop this guy oh, over here. We'll get shock sentry. Can't quite afford. Can't quite afford to get that de uh, not the decoy, the shock sentry maxed out, but it will do. Ooh, I am hurting. Let's do this. Believe me, I did you a favor. Get this not repaired but refilled. You had it coming. 
That's it. Reload initiated. <laughs> Executing combat maneuvers. We have you. Two left. Just those three quick sniper kills there just do so much for this class. Got it. Leaving this here. It's mine now. Sweet! Shit, yeah! Planted. Oh, I didn't realise we were actually on the last wave already. So, as I would normally say in these, if you are enjoying these, please make sure you give it a like and maybe even a comment down below on which class you would like to see me fail at next. Thank you, Jack. Oh, that Grenadier Elite. What a swine. Not gonna lie, I've genuinely not even seen the bosses. This has been a good run. It's been pretty harmless. Oh, it's just Jack's enemies. It's just Jack's hijack target left. Nice. Well, that's another one out of the way. Thank you for watching until the very end of the video. If you are usually here at this point, then you know I have been keeping track of my progress through this series using this little tracker. We have been crossing off our maps as we complete them, with Rail Line being our 18th map, which takes us basically halfway through this series now. I will be covering another map next week, but for now, gears, take it easy, and I will catch you in the next one.